Hey everybody, Al here. So, you want a drill press. I know. Who doesn't want a drill press, right? But they're not exactly giving them away. So I'm going to show you what I did today. I don't have plans for this because I kind of just eyeballed it. Uh, but if you have scraps of wood laying around, uh, maybe a few pieces of, of unused plywood, some 2x4s, some 1x6s, a couple of bungee cords. Anyway, using just stuff that I had laying around the shop and behind the barn, I built a drill press holder. Now, a drill press holder is something you put a hand drill in, but it keeps it steady so you can drill straight, even holes without breaking your bits. So anyway, I'm going to show it to you now. Uh, like I said, I don't have plans for this. I don't have any drawings or anything. You can pause the video here and there if you want to see how it's done, but I, this video was just made to show you that it can be done. Okay, so here it is. So anyway, here's the drill press I made. Like I said, not very impressive as far as looks go. You know, it's made out of old deck wood that I had, some scrap two by fours, some uh, leftover uh, panel I had from when I put the tabletop on couple of bungee cords so uh, let's see how this works I'm gonna step back a little so you can get a better look at it I know it looks like a guillotine doesn't it <laughs> well obviously the first thing you need is drill this is my drill and of course a drill bit we're gonna put the drill bit in the drill because that's what you do with the drill bit okay all right so what you do is move this thing here take your drill bit you drill Stick it in there. Now you notice that I have the hole cut so it fits nicely around there. And I've also got these shims over here to make sure the uh, to make sure the drill doesn't move side to side. So you also notice here I have a, a bungee cord with the S hook that I modified. So you just basically go down under the bottom of it, right there. Come up over the top, give it a little stretch, and hook it on there. And that pretty much keeps the drill from from moving up on you when you're pressing down on it. It works pretty good, you'll see. So anyway, I got this here uh, bungee cord, which goes up to this little thingamabob here, that jig that I put up there with a hook. So, uh, and here's the, uh, the drill on the drill press. Now I have it set kind of low because generally there's just gonna be knife scales in there. Um, so uh, you can adjust it by, I guess, shortening up or getting a shorter, uh, getting a shorter uh, bungee cord, but that's all I really need, and that's kind of a long bit too. So let's get a little piece of wood and I'll show you how it works. So anyway, here's a little little piece of test wood here. And um, you can you can clamp, you know, you can clamp however you want uh, on there. You can get a drill press clamp, I guess, or whatever, but I've got like a million of these C clamps. So let's go ahead and clamp this wood on. Okay, wood is clamped into place. Now this drill, this is a Ryobi drill, it doesn't have, a, doesn't have one of those switches on it where it'll keep running. So if yours does, more power to you. Otherwise, a piece of Velcro strap will work just fine. So uh, here we go. You ready? And there you go. See, let's take this clamp off. Get the clamp off, and voila! A nice, clean, perfectly straight hole. So there you have it. Drill press, made from scrap wood. Peace out.